Here's the front programming port on my Uniden uh, BCD15X scanner. Uh, I thought this was going to be a, a USB port when I bought the thing. However, to much to my surprise, it turns out to be a serial port with a really odd plug in the front. So the goal today is to get my really cheap USB to RS-232 adapter cable to interface this scanner into my Windows 10 uh, laptop. Here's the cable I'm using. I refer to it as cheap, but it's actually inexpensive. Uh, it's uh, well constructed. It works very nicely. It's got the uh, prolific PL2303 chipset in it, which is supposed to be problematic, but to me it was not. It also indicates that it supports an automatic handshake. And my experience was I plugged this thing in and out of nowhere I got a port and a driver. So it was, it was um, really easy to use. The package came with a, a CD driver, instructions, and an email address for support at the company that built this, but I actually didn't use any, any of those items. This is the RS-232 interface cable that came with the BCD-15X unit and scanner. On this end, you've got the DVD-9 uh, interface plug, which has nine female contacts on it. And also to note, it's got the two screws, the two male screws on this end that's used to connect it to the uh, RS-232 plug coming from the computer. Here's another view of the same plug. The adapter cable I purchased has the matching DBD9 uh, plug with the nine male pins and the two nuts that allow the, interf the interfacing of the screws coming off the other plug to hold it firmly together. The other end of the converter cable is of course a standard USB plug while on the unit end uh, cable it's got a plug that matches with the receptacle on the front of the uh, 15X scanner. I'm ready now to plug in my uh, USB to serial uh, cable converter into the computer. Before I do that, I'm here on the desktop and I want to look at the uh, device manager and the settings to see what it looks like before I plug it in. And so I'm going to go to settings, which I've got pinned here on my taskbar. Oh, it popped right up. Go to devices and I'm going to look for connected devices. And let's see what we have here. We've got two things here. We've got a blue snowball, which is the microphone I'm talking on. And I've got a cruiser blade, which is a uh, flash drive plugged into to the uh, computer. Okay, so let's. I'm going to look at the device manager. See what that looks like before I plug it in. Okay, so I'm interested in the universal serial bus controller, so I'll double click that. And what I'm interested in is composite devices. So I've got. Um, this guy here, the top and whatever that is, always seems to live there. I'm not a computer guy, so I'm not going to worry about that one. This one is my Snowball microphone, so it's servicing this, the microphone. And this one, I believe, is the uh, flash drive. And nothing else is shown up here. Everything is clean. So I'm going to go back to the, to the settings box, the settings display, and plug the cable in. And now it's going through a process of configuring this thing for not only this, the microphone, the flash drive, but now I've got a prolific USB serial COM port, COM11, which is, in fact, that uh, adapter cable. Now to go down and look at the device manager, right down here. Okay, so looking at the universal serial bus controllers again. Really got the same thing, two composites and a mass storage device. So the unknown one, the, the microphone, and the flash drive. But if you go up here, I've suddenly got ports sitting here, common LPT. So I'll double click that and look at it. And there is my prolific USB to serial COM port on sitting on COM 11. It just installed itself. So it looks like I'm pretty well set up here. So the next step is to uh, see how it talks to the uh, to the scanner. 
I'm back at the desktop again, and now what I would like to do is see if I can upload something from the computer into the 15X uh, scanner. So first of all, I'll open my software for the scanner, which is called FreeScan. It's available from reference, um, radioreference.com. It's, it's free software. And I'll open up a file. Let's see. And here's a test file I've used called Scanning High School. I'll just open that up for the heck of it. It looks sort of like that. There's three of, three of them, one, two, three. So now what I'm going to try to do is upload this program into the scanner. And I'll start by clicking on the upload sign, the little uh, uh, scanner with the upload, uh, with the up arrow on it. Okay, and I'm going to click all three systems. And I am going to start the upload. Well, it doesn't like that. FreeScan is unable to access COM1. Please check your settings and try again. Okay. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to start running auto on it and see what happens there. Okay. From there, it detected it. Uh, everything seems to be on COM 11. Whoops. And I will start the upload. And it is loading. It goes through the three systems. And actually the, the scanner has started talking. <laughs> yeah, also Garrett Mello, he just walked out of B208. Just a quick note, while the cable I used was strictly plug and play on the computer I used, the computer by the way being a uh, Samsung laptop uh, Intel Core i3 based computer running Windows 10, it may or, not, may or may not be that uh, uh, happy on your computer. If not, then try running the driver disk. I actually ran it on another computer and it's fairly easy to run and uh, load it up, uh, restart your computer and hopefully you'll be in good shape.